Hi there, Jennifer Elizabeth Masters here. So one of the things that I am witnessing in my clients' lives is a foot on the gas, foot on the brake, foot on the gas, foot on the brake. And if we don't take our foot off the brake, we're not gonna go anywhere, we're not gonna receive what it is we want. We won't manifest what we desire. And so this is a really quick one, two, three step. Get crystal clear on what you want, number one. Number two, breathe. Be certain that that number one is what you want. Because if you have second thoughts, you're looking at a house, oh, but it has a 7-Eleven across the street, there's, there's a homeless shelter to the left, uh, there's um, uh, a, lot of, a lot of busy traffic. Uh, yes, I want the house, but there's all, do you see what I'm saying? You've got two minds, you're of two minds. I want it, I don't want it. It happened to me don't feel bad. It happened to me recently when I was moving from California to Boulder. I love the ocean. I have great friends in Ojai. I love Ojai. I love the shopping in Ojai. I love the people in Ojai. I know a lot of people there. In two years, I made some really great friends. I didn't want to leave the beach. And so Boulder was calling me. My friends, I have some friends here too, but my kids were in Colorado. And so I was of two minds. Mm, I don't really want to leave California. I love California, but my children are there. Do you see? So I, it held up the process. It held up the process. I didn't get approved until the last minute. So once I forgave myself for having my foot on the brake, once I forgave the auditor that was looking at my paperwork with a fine tooth comb, once I forgave the things that I thought about her, yes, even me, I sometimes am judgmental, I try really hard not to be, but <laughs> sometimes, you know, I miss the mark. I am not perfect and I admit it. So when I forgave all of those things and then I said to the universe, yes, I want to be in Boulder. Yes, I want this apartment. Yes, I want to move. I'll come back and visit the beach. I'll come back and visit my friends. But yes, I want this. Yes, I want this. And I said it a bunch of times and I prayed and then I let it go. And then the next morning at 1130, guess what? I got approved, but I already had my trailer, my tow hitch, the trailer loaded, I was ready to go, but I was holding up my manifestation. So I'm gonna quick take a look. Hello, nice to see you, Margaret. I'm glad you're here. So if you have a question about manifesting, if there's anything that you're having difficulty with, ask it. I'd be glad to include it in my next video. So the the basics are be in a state of love. Okay, so my guides are saying exaltation. What does that mean? Like excited about life, being in gratitude, being happy to be here, happy to be alive. Yay, this is a great world. Yay, this is a great life. You just, you do that. You breathe, you get crystal clear. The clarity is very important. Know what you want. You can even make a list. I don't want these things, I do want these. And then focus on what you want. And then, universe, I see myself with this. How can I easily and effortlessly have fill in the blank? And then start saying prayers of gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you for bestowing this on me. Thank you, thank you for loving me. Thank you for giving me my desires. And you're co-creating with the universe here. This is a co-creative effort. So I love you. I'm sending you a big hug. And my orchid, what are we calling you today? Violet. Oh, <laughs> the orchid's name is Violet. Uh, she has a sense of humor. So we're sending you a big hug today. And like I said, if you have questions about manifesting, don't be afraid to ask. I'd be glad to do it in my next video. Thanks for watching. Mwah! I love you.